Need computer training for a group or office? Contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You use a query to answer a question that you have about the information stored in the database tables. You can then further analyze the results that the queries pull to produce even more information than the query itself displays. Reports are often based on query results, upon which they can then perform additional mathematical and statistical calculations. Queries are also an excellent way to show information from related tables in a single result set as the results that you pull from queries aren't limited to a single table. The power and flexibility of query design is the entire reason that you use database programs. They can quickly access, calculate, and summarize the records that they pull from the various tables. Access provides you with a simple query wizard which you can use to initially create queries. However, do not rely too heavily on this tool as at some point you will inevitably have to create a query that is more complex than this tool allows. For advanced queries, you must learn how to create a query in Query Design View versus using the wizard to create them. However, to create a simple query using the wizard, click the Query Wizard button that appears in the Queries group, or the other group as it's called in Access 2007, that appears on the Create tab in the ribbon. In the new query dialog box that appears, you can see the ways that you can use query wizards. Simply select the Simple Query Wizard and then click the OK button to begin. Now in the first screen of this wizard, you must select the first table from which you will pull data by using the Tables Queries drop-down. Once you've selected a table, the fields from that table will display in the available fields list. To add a field from the table into the query, select its name from the available fields list and click the single right pointing arrow button to move it into the selected fields list. Repeat this as needed, selecting the fields that you would like to see in the query. So once you're finished, just click the Next button to continue. Now if you only selected fields from a single table on the first screen, then when you click the Next button to continue, you will only need to provide the query with a name and then click the Finish button to finish creating the query. If however you pick data from two or more related tables, then when you click the Next button, you will instead view a second screen which asks if you would like a Detail or Summary query. You can select the Option button for the type of query that you wish to create. If you select Summary, then you will be able to click the Summary Options button to open the Summary Options dialog box. In this dialog box, you can select what type of summary to perform over a selected field. You can make any selections as desired and then click the OK button to return to the Simple Query Wizard. You can then click Next to continue. Now, if you select the Detail Query, you will only need to name your query and then click Finish to create the query after clicking Next to continue. Also note that if you did select the Summary option and your summary included dates, you may also be presented with additional date grouping options. Continue to answer any questions as appropriate for your query and just click Next to continue until you reach the final screen. In the final screen, you simply type a name for your query and then simply click the Finish button to finish creating the query. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.